heading 185, reduce speed 182 and off. 185 on the heading 180 on speed off there, 007. Speed at 124, reduce speed 160 and off to 40 and me. 160 to 40, speed Hi guys and welcome back to part two of the Ryanair flight from the land of Birmingham over to Dublin. As they say, what goes up must come down and uh, top of descent is actually just upon us and we're still not putting a rival in, so we need to do just that. Uh, if you watch part one, you'll know that it is ILS runway 2A and we are taking the uh, bag so arrival the one x-ray into runway 28 so we'll throw that in and maybe that will delay the uh, the top of the for just a little bit apparently we're still using reserve fuel although that's complete rubbish because the reserves are 1.5 and we're landing with 1.9 so nice math all right ILS 11.35 so let's set that in uh, ah. Why is everything zero? That's weird. 1135 on that side, transfer it, and also 1135 on the other side, we'll transfer that too. The inbound or the course for the runway is 278, so we'll throw that in here. 278 and 278 on the other side. 278, done. Uh, we'll use auto brake 2 and we'll also land with flap 40. Double click it. That's everything. So, we are good to start descending uh, ba basically momentarily. So, we'll spin the wheel. We'll go down to, uh, well, I'll just throw it all the way down to 3,000 feet. We'll have a look at the charts in just a second and we will adjust accordingly. Okay, so. Over to our charts, Dublin. Let's make sure that you can see that. Yes, you can. Perfect. All right. So uh, let's have a look at the star first of all. So we're looking at the Bagso arrival. Bagso uh, is not that one. So let's check this one. There it is. Uh, that's a Bagso one Zulu. So it's not that one either. And it's the Bagso one X-ray. It routes Bagso, Adsis, Kerav, left turn, Cogax, and then Lapmo 3000, which is what we set in the MCP, so we'll just aim for that. Uh, we'll hit the approach tab and look for ILS 28, which is what we need from Lapmo 3000 feet, standard ILS, minima 402, we need to set that, that's the first thing we'll do. And then the taxi in is relatively straightforward. We're gonna go uh, vacate probably Echo 6, yeah, definitely Echo 6, and Bravo, uh, and then left on Hotel, cross the 1634 runway, and then probably just Link 4, and then we'll find somewhere to park. So, 
How about that for an approach briefing and taxi briefing? All right, so the minima is 402. We'll stick that in. This may take a while to scroll, so just bear with me. And I have a really quick scroll wheel too, so unlucky if you don't. There used to be a, a button thing that you could use, like a modifier that you could push and hold, but I haven't got it set up. 402, done. One thing I didn't check actually on that ILS chart was the missed approach altitude, which for Dublin is 5,000 feet. So as long as we remember that, we're fine. I uh, didn't get a chance to turn the seatbelt signs off, I'll be honest with you. We, uh, we literally just left the coast of England and we're already descending, so I mean, oh, I didn't start the clock. God damn it. I mean, I started that one 28 minutes ago. This flight is so quick. The fact that I've managed to make two videos out of a 28, well, it's going to be about a 45 minute flight is impressive. Uh, but there's so much setup to be doing. So we'll follow this down. Uh, we will get, uh, we'll follow the profile in and uh, yeah, we'll just look out the window and watch nothing but clouds because that's all we have. Alright, so let's see where we are. We are overhead Kogax, whatever that place is called. And uh, the ILS is just off to the right, so it's going to make a right turn soon. Let's have a look at the uh, engine again. Clouds are looking pretty nice. Flight sim for me is like, I don't know, 70% systems, but there's definitely 30% aesthetics. Like, I want it to look nice when I look out the window. But either way. Right, landing lights can go on. Actually, you know what? We'll uh, just put a fixed on one, fixed ones on for now. Even we'll give the cabin crew the ding, which means ten minutes or so to go. But we probably realistically only got about five, and uh, that's going to put us direct to Lavmo now for the ILS. Speed is good, 230 knots. You can see the uh, glide. Is that the glide diamond already? But I don't have a DME yet, so that's weird. But essentially all we need to do is spin the heading round, make sure it's synced. Ooh. Like that. And we can actually go. We go here. We can go direct to Lapmo like this. There we go. That'll fix that. 
a little bit off the enough path, but it'll fix itself because the speed has been well managed. I love how it, there's a sense of speed in X-Plane when you're going through clouds. You don't get that in P3D. It's kind of annoying. The surface wind at uh, Dublin, 270 now, 11 knots. And the pressure's 1016. The transition altitude is uh, 5,000 feet. So, actually, I'll just set that now. So, 1016. 1016 and finally 1016 perfect there's the DME 18 miles to run we're going a little bit fast so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to level change because eh, I can see the glide now and I know the VNAV path will go a bit wonky but I can see the glide diamond so I am more than comfortable with slowing it that way some uh, some sort of boat in the water. And we can throw flat one down below 250 knots, but I don't think we're going to need to do that just yet. It says drag required, but I can manage this based upon what I can see. So we will now go flat one. You'll see the slats come out. There we go. Beautiful. I'll give us a bit more drag. And that'll start to pitch the nose forward. And that'll catch that diamond up. You can actually see it now. The diamond's getting closer to the middle. We'll go VOR lock. And then what we'll do is we'll go a little bit under the glide. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll put a bit of speed break out now. There we go. Just so we can dip under the glide a little bit. And then I'll put it back in. The lever of shame, as they call it. Sometimes it has to be used. All right, so there's the localizer. Thousand to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the speed, or I'm going to reduce the MCP speed now to flat one. And that'll lift the nose up. And then as that happens, sink the heading. Approach and Command B. I'm going to go flat two, which we can safely do now. That flat, uh, the amount of flat for flat two is completely wrong, but whatever. We are now on the glide. The Orthos coming back for Dublin, and then flat five. Perfect. Bring the speed even further back. 170. Seven miles to run. We can stow the speed brake and arm it, and we'll go gear down. 2500. The gear will produce a lot of drag, so everything will start to look better in terms of speed. That is such a pleasing view. It's the first time I've flown into Dublin with Ortho. It looks really nice. All right, we're gonna go flap now 15. 160 knot speed, and the engine start selectors to continuous. We will put all the lights on and the turn off lights, not the taxi light though. Now our speed uh, is 137 and we're gonna be plus five. So we're gonna go for 142. So we're going to go flat 40 all the way down and 142, perfect. See the flaps going down there. 
If you live in Dublin, you may recognize this. I have absolutely no idea what we're looking at, but it looks nice nevertheless. Okay, I'm happy to re, uh, re-engage, that's the wrong word. Disconnect the autopilot, like so, and also disconnect the auto throttle. The missed approach altitude is 5,000 feet, which is now set, and we are, for all intents and purposes, cleared to land. Now, hopefully, uh, I really hope this, this works, I'm going to try and insert a replay from the wing view so you can see what's going on. Feet stabilized well, I've not edited in so long properly that I've actually forgotten how to do it. So if it takes me too long, I probably won't do it. But if you see the, uh, the uh, wing view landing, then I figured it out. Problem is, I've now got a webcam. Oh, look, my door's open. But no one noticed that. Anyway, I'll be quiet. Well, actually, no, I won't. But I'll stop talking about relevant things. Okay, so, Minimus 402, about another 300 feet to go. Everything is looking pretty stable. Speed's good, a little bit high, but we can correct that. Which we've just done, perfect. Something in my eye, which is not okay, but we'll deal with it. 300. Wind is directly on the nose, which is minimums. beautiful. But wind can sometimes be very blustery. 200 minimums we will continue 100 50 40 30 20 10 down we go reverses Decelerating nicely. There's 90 knots, 80 knots, 80 knots, 70, 60. Reverse is stowed. We'll let the auto brake continue to decelerate, and there's manual braking now. And we will vacate as predicted onto Bravo 6. And, and all items Welcome until the seatbelt to finished. Dublin. Oh, sorry, not Bravo 6, Echo 6. Disarm the auto brake, turn it off. And we're going to taxi off to the right here. I have a, like, I try my best to fly in X plane and, you know, grease the landings and stuff like that, but I really do have an inherent problem with, with landing in X plane. I, um,. For some reason, I always misjudge the flight. It wasn't too bad then, but for those of you that fly in real life, will know what I'm tr what I'm talking about. Like you, when you flare, you uh, you think the wheel is the wheels are going to touch down before they actually do. It's really strange. Anyway, flaps in, speed brake in, and we will throw on the APU. Turn off the engine start selectors. A bit of power goes a long way. This Dublin scenery is by Aerosoft, by the way, if you're wondering. it's I think it is just a port of their P3D scenery. I might be wrong, though. It's funny, because it doesn't even work in P3D anymore. So they've got a scenery that works in X-Plane for once that doesn't work in P3D. That's pretty impressive. Turn the weather radar off. And it's one hell of a taxi in. It's almost like Amsterdam. But Ryanair basically owned Dublin, so they can get away with taxiing at Mach 2. Plus, I'm pretty sure on the straight and narrow, you're allowed to do 30 knots. So as long as we don't go over, like, 90, we'll be fine. That was a joke, by the way. I know, I'm hilarious. I love that whine as it, the engine spool down. That makes certain things move in my body. All right, hotel's the next left. Now let's see if we can just like glide it around the corner. Oh no, this is apparently Mike too. Hotel's the next one, right? 
please say hotel. Yeah, okay, hotel too. All right, let's see if we can just glide it around the corner at 32 knots. Easy does it. Handbrake. Look at the wing lifting up. That's ridiculous. But you know what? It worked. I bet you that's why that turn there is so shallow. Because they know you're coming round it like Michael Schumacher. Which is probably a really bad example. Because I'm pretty sure he's like cabbaged right now. Because of doing something like that. But on a ski slope. I digress. We are crossing runway. Therefore we should technically put the strobe lights on. So we'll do that. And we can take the APU on the buses. And I don't know where Ryanair Park. So, I'm going to guess. So we're on link four. I reckon they'd go right here. And then they would probably, because they're cheap skates and they don't use jet bridges. So I reckon they'd probably park right here. Because this is like one of the cheapo stands. Oh, and apparently I can't park. Let's wait for Mr. Marshall and see what he says. Oh, come on, straighten up. There we go. Sorry, we're blinding you, I know. Life insurance. And... Boom. Parking brake. Bye-bye engines. That's fine. Seatbelts off. Beacon light off. Fuel pumps off. Pro peat off. Everything else is fine. Ground services set chocks. And we will request uh, some stairs because... Why not? Cones. Loaders. Stairway. That was a nice sound as the engine shut down. Now, if we want to get out of this, we have to go here and we have to click this. And look, we have no passengers. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, welcome to Dublin. Time to check the Project Fly flight. Look at that. Perfect. Out we go, right turn up towards Trent, left over the top of Manchester, as you saw in the little, like, weird footage that I do. And then off at Bravo or Echo 6, like planned. 700 mile an hour taxi into the terminal, and here we are. We have a landing rate of minus 171, which for X-Plane and me is perfect. Complete the flight right there. And uh, you know what? What I'm gonna do, is because I really don't want to fly this back, I'm going to put this up as a contract. Let's see if we can make this. Create contract, select airfield, Dublin. We're going to go back to Birmingham. Ryanair. Fox Tango Juliet, flight number. Uh, you know what? Let's have a look at the flight number first. So we go to bookings and EIDW. EGBB. Right, so let's have a look at the one that goes back just after. It's like 1225 Zulu. Perfect, this one. Ryanair 670 and it's 6 Hotel Golf. 670 6 Hotel Golf. Let me write that down. 670 6 Hotel Golf. I wonder who's going to pick this contract up. Create contract. EIDW. EGBB. Ryanair. I can spell. Uh, we are FR670 and Ryanair 6 Hotel Golf. Briefing. I need this aircraft returning back to Birmingham as I flew the outbound leg for a YouTube video. Thanks in advance. Uh, everything is up to you. However, please note that Ryanair are the cheapest possible airline ever there, actually. So, please keep 
that in mind when uh, dispatching your flight or this flight this flight thanks create contract there we go so someone is now gonna pick up my contract so whoever you are out there thank you very much and that concludes yet another video let's get somewhere where we can end this in style over here it looks nice although Ryanair do not use stairs but there's no doors on this model unfortunately so you kind of have to just deal with it all right guys thank you again for the support on all of the videos it is an absolute pleasure making them I actually I mean you could probably tell like I'm in a better space mentally physically like everything is good uh so sitting here making videos like it's you know 1 p.m for me now I've got a couple of hours to edit this then I gotta go stream. So if you're watching this and it is before 1700 Zulu or 1600 Zulu today, which is uh, it's Friday today, the 7th of September, then feel free to pop by the stream, twitch.tv forward slash Matt Davis. Uh, we were doing some spinning wheel stuff yesterday, which is absolutely hilarious. I ended up flying into Heathrow. Uh, hand flying it, no auto throttle, no autopilot with bad weather and on Batsim. It was a mess, but it was absolutely hilarious. So if you've got nothing better to do with your time, then uh, feel free to pop over to the stream. That swaying is something I need to just disable. There we go. Uh, so until the next one, keep your suggestions coming in. Keep using Project Fly. Keep being awesome. And uh, we'll keep doing what we do, uh, which is the team and I creating updates or developing updates, making Simstall, making the A380, and eventually we will have a pretty decent product line. All right, until the next time, thank you very much for watching and the support. Take care. Ta-ra for now.